Today, I am signing an executive order extending the grace period for residents who may be finding themselves unable to pay their insurance premiums because of a loss of income or other impacts from this emergency. My order will require a minimum 60-day grace period for health and dental insurance policies and 90 days grace for home and auto insurance, renter's insurance, life insurance, and for insurance premium financing arrangements, among others. I got asked by this by some friends of mine at the Breakfast Club on 105.1, Charlemagne and DJ Envy and Angela Yee the other day, and this was in the works and we didn't have a definitive answer, so I want to give them a shout out for helping us give us a little even more impetus to get this done sooner than later. Additionally, this order makes it clear that all claims covered by the insurance policy must be paid out to those who are within this, these grace periods, and also that insurers can't demand repayment of unpaid premiums in a lump sum at the end of the grace period, but rather they must spread these back payments out over the remainder of the insurance term. This is akin to the sort of methodology that we expect mortgage bankers to deal with your payments when, this, when their 90-day grace period is up. Uh, it can't just be 90 days and then you face a big lump sum payment. It's got to be, in that case, hopefully tacked onto the edge of your mortgage, at the end of your mortgage, in the insurance case, smoothed out over the life of your premium payments. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.